Hi, my name's Stephen Fitzsimon from Melbourne Real Estate and welcome to apartment 1104 at 138 Farrars Street. So this is an 04 style apartment and it's dressed up today in what we call the stylish furniture package. Um, let's go and have a look at the apartment and let's start by having a look out on the balcony. Now the balcony for this property is a really good size. Um, almost square in shape, it offers some fantastic views. Gives you a great idea of where we're actually located here, looking over to the South Melbourne market, the light rail down to St Kilda, and then fantastic views across Port Melbourne and South Melbourne into the Port Phillip Bay. So an absolutely stunning location for this property and magnificent views from the 11th floor. Um, in terms of the the uh, apartment in, and the living area here. You've got a dining area, a couch area, everything that works really, really well. It's excellently proportioned. Um, and then we've also got this magnificent kitchen that I'm standing in front of at the moment with this great workspace here. You've got gas stainless steel appliances, full-size dishwasher, full pantry, you've got stainless steel uh, fridge in here or a fridge cavity if you take the property unfurnished. Um, and then we've also got a plethora of, of storage immediately behind the camera there. Let's go and have a look now at the central bathroom. The central bathroom is really stunning. Loads of storage in the central bathroom. Everything that you need in terms of the, the um, functionality of apartment living. It's, it's love those tones and the, and the uh, timber touches. When we're talking storage, this is a full linen cupboard. There's another full linen cupboard around the corner here, all that comes as part of this apartment. On the left hand side here, this is the Euro laundry, so a spot for the washing machine and dryer. So everything's catered for in this property. Let's go and have a look at the master bedroom now. The master bedroom, it, it's got a queen size bed in it for the furniture um, at the moment. Beautiful views down over the South Melbourne market. And then it's got a lovely ensuite bathroom, which is pretty much a replica of the other with great storage below the vanity and behind the mirrors there. One of the features that we always get comments on is the little dressing room, which is off the side to this bedroom. Gives you a great space to get dressed and look in the mirror under a nice light with, some, um, with, with a nice feel to it. So that, that gets some comments. Let's go now to the second bedroom. You'll see that it's conveniently located on the other side of the apartment. Again, a queen size bed used in the styling here. Fantastic views over Port Phillip Bay and excellent fitted robes. So if you're looking for an oversized apartment, this is an uh, 04 style apartment in Montague Square, a brilliant build to rent development. Let's go and have a look at the common facilities. Welcome to Montague Square. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the facilities here for residents. To start off with, we've got the video security intercom, so you can see who your guests are before they enter the building. When you enter the building, use biometric security, so your fingerprint to access the entry here and your apartment. Let's make our way in. Security is a feature here at Montague Square, and parcel lockers play an integral role. Deliveries are commonplace now, and having a parcel locker where they can be secured storely while you're at work for you then to be able to collect when you're finished is the 21st century way of doing things. Living at Montague Square is supposed to be more than just having an apartment somewhere. The on-site building management are here to coordinate activities for the residents of Montague Square. Let's see how that works. So this desk here is where the building management and concierge are going to base themselves at Montague Square. They're going to be coordinating activities for the residents such as Tai Chi lessons, mandarins, classes, um, also getting a personal trainer in to work with residents in the gym. Let's go up and have a look at the level 3 facilities. The level three facilities can be booked privately or are available for residents at any time. Come and have a look. On this level, you've got a residence lounge. The idea is that we're creating a community here. Imagine yourself 
having a birthday party, wanting to invite some friends, here you can do it. You've got a great dining area, you've got a fridge, an oven to keep food warm, and then you've got this fantastic huge TV screen if you want to watch sporting events or um, a, a great film with, with friends. At Montague Square, they also allow you to provide a corporate presence to your home. A meeting room is available for residents to book if you need to meet clients, do some business whilst you're at Montague Square. Let's have a look. Whether it's a interview, a professional meeting space, whatever it might be, everything is catered for. There's also, I'd like to show you a gym. I'm sure it's gonna be popular. The building management may arrange for a PT to come down and show you how to use all of the equipment to its best so that you can get the most out of your time here at Montague Square. Now, let's have a look at some of the other social activities. One thing that I love here is the fantastic pool table. If you've made some friends at Montague Square, having a game of pool with them should be on the agenda. If pool's not your thing, you can have a game of cards or just sit down and enjoy a coffee. There's tables and chairs here and also there's a big outdoor deck here on level three that stretches right around the building. But if we want to talk about outside spaces, you must have a look at the rooftop terrace. Let's go there now. This is the view from the rooftop terrace at Montague Square. Absolutely gorgeous across Port Melbourne to the Port Phillip Bay. And then you also get a fantastic idea of the location here, looking down at the South Melbourne market in front of us. Um, we've got the light rail down to St Kilda and the stop just below us here. And then across to the Melbourne CBD. The roof terrace is designed so that you can come up here, punch out some emails on your laptop, take in a bit of vitamin D and enjoy your surrounds. As I walk to the other end of the roof area, you start to get an idea of the location and the proximity to the CBD and the surrounds. And you further see the other light rail that goes down to Port Melbourne at the bottom here. The Royal Exhibition Building or Jeff's Shed just in front of us here, Crown Casino. Everything that Melbourne has to offer within a very short stroll 